Hi guys, welcome to Android Guider. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the unable to mount storage error in TWRP. Before we begin, make sure you are subscribed to the channel and like this video if you find it helpful. Let's dive in. Firstly, ensure you are using the latest version of TWRP. This is one of the most common TWRP errors and with every new release, some bugs are fixed. So it's possible that one of the underlying issues which is causing this error was addressed in a recent TWRP update. So make sure you are using the latest TWRP that is available for your device. Now uh, you might be wondering what are those underlying issues that I mentioned about. What, what is it that causes this error in the first place? Let's uh, take a moment to understand that and stick with me through this explanation. It's uh, important to solve this error. Now, what's happened with newer Android versions is that Google has tightened up the security. We have uh, seen recently how Google shoved hardware-backed safety net down our throats. Uh, that's probably a rant for another video. But uh, with Android 6 and above, Google made device encryption mandatory. This means all the data that is stored on your internal storage is encrypted. And unfortunately, TWRP isn't good at decrypting that data. TWRP has a post on their blog where uh, they explain how Android fragmentation has made it hard to support description. Basically, every Android phone maker can use their own encryption and decryption algorithms. And uh, since the code for these algorithms isn't public, TWRP developers have to reverse engineer a lot of files to make this de decryption work. Uh, as you might know, reverse engineering is a very tedious and cumbersome process. So if uh, the TWRP maintainer for your device did that reverse engineering, then uh, TWRP for your device will support decryption. Otherwise, it won't. The other issue is that uh, Google constantly updates the encryption decryption algorithms with every Android release. Thus, TWRP also has to be updated to support encryption on that Android version. That's it. Uh, we are done with the explanation. Thanks for sticking with me through this though. Uh, the root cause, so as, we, uh, as you might have realized, is that uh, the unable to mount storage error is caused by TWRP's inability to decrypt the internal storage. Uh, now that you have a good idea of why TWRP can't support encryption decryption, it becomes easy to understand the solutions. For example, if you are facing the unable to mount storage error on a newer Android version that's only a few weeks old, then it's likely that uh, it will be fixed after TWRP gets updated to support that version. If you are uh, facing this error on an Android version that is older, then uh, one of these solutions will work. Number one, check whether you get this uh, pop-up for uh, entering a password while uh, booting into TWRP. If you do, then uh, based on the lock, lock screen type, you have to enter the password for decrypting the internal storage. Uh, in case you are using a pin or a passcode as the lock screen, then enter that pin or passcode as the password and see if that works. Uh, for those of you who are using a pattern lock, we have to determine the password using the number grid. So uh, this is the number grid that you can see on your screen right now. And uh, so uh, let's consider if uh, this was my pattern lock. Then using that number grid, we can conclude that the password is 1257683. Uh, so just enter that password if you are uh, using a pattern lock and see if that works. In case it doesn't, uh, we will have to reboot into the system. So to do that, press and uh, hold the power button for uh, a few seconds, uh, then your phone will start booting normally. Now uh, head over to the security settings and uh, remove any secured lock screen uh, along with the fingerprints. Uh, this is very important. So what we are doing here is that uh, we are removing any security and uh, hopefully that will uh, uh, remove any barriers that TWRP might be having for uh, decrypting the internal storage. Uh, now try rebooting into TWRP again and see if it still asks for a password. Uh, if it does, uh, press on cancel and uh, see if the unable to mount storage error is fixed now. Uh, in case the error is not fixed, go to TWRP's homepage, click on reboot and then reboot to recovery. When you get the password prompt up again, try entering default underscore password. TWRP will now attempt to decrypt the internal storage again and uh, if it succeeds then uh, the unable to mount storage error will be fixed. Uh, in case that also didn't work, uh, that is if uh, the error wasn't solved using default underscore password or uh, in fact if you weren't getting the password prompt up in the first place then uh, we will use TWRP's built-in repair file system feature to repair the data partition on your device. 
uh, again go to the wrp's home page now click on wipe then uh, on advanced right and check the box beside data after that tap on repair or uh, change file system and then tap on the repair file system button finally perform a right swipe to repair the data partition once that is complete go to twrp's homepage again uh, click on reboot and then reboot to recovery uh, the error should be fixed now in case it still wasn't then don't worry we are uh, i'll definitely we will uh, i'll definitely give you a solution that will definitely work that's why i mentioned that uh, this video will give you a guaranteed fix for uh, the unable to mount storage error okay so uh, here's what uh, we have to do now uh, this solution uh, now look uh, you wouldn't face this problem in the first place if uh, uh, the storage wasn't encrypted so if your phone is in encrypted then you will never face the unable to mount storage error so what we will do is we will uh, wipe the data partition completely and disable data encryption from the get-go uh, the problem with this solution is that uh, you will end up losing all your apps images downloads and everything else so if you are able to get into your uh, uh, custom rom uh, that is uh, if you can reboot into the system and if you are just able to use your phone normally then uh, connect your phone to a computer and back up everything uh, all the contents of the internal storage uh, and if it's uh, if you are using uh, certain apps like whatsapp which have local backup on your internal storage back up everything or uh, back up your contents to google drive uh, but do everything that you can back up because uh, this method will wipe the internal storage completely uh, it would be like you just received a new phone in your hands and you have to install all your apps and data so uh, once uh, that is done reboot into twrp again go to the wipe option and uh, then click on format data uh, now type yes and then uh, click on the blue tick in the bottom right corner of the keyboard uh, if uh, you didn't have a working rom uh, then uh, i'm sorry you will end up losing all your data but uh, this is the only solution uh, which can get your phone to work again so uh, i know how you feel but uh, uh, you will uh, have to get rid of that data to get your phone working again uh, the unable to mount storage error should be fixed now uh, now to ensure uh, that you don't face this error again in the future uh, i would advise a couple of things Firstly, make sure that you don't encrypt your phone. Uh, now, I know a couple of people are going to raise their pitchfork and uh, uh, throw them at me uh, saying, uh, why shouldn't you encrypt your phone? Uh, it's because of, of TWRP's inability to, to decrypt the internal storage that you ran into this error in the first place. So if you uh, don't encrypt your phone again, then uh, this will make sure that you don't have to go through this hassle again and uh, uh, maybe end up losing your data again. So before you reboot your phone, uh, back into system do this go to the xt thread linked in the description and uh, download the flashable zip for disabling dm verity and force encryption once it's uh, downloaded uh, and uh, by the way you will have to download this on a computer and then transfer it to the internal storage of your device and uh, then you will have to flash it uh, otherwise it uh, won't work so uh, it's important that you flash this file before rebooting the system uh, because uh, when you reboot your phone uh, and then uh, the first thing that the ROM will do is it will uh, uh, encrypt your device if you haven't uh, flashed this zip. But if you flash this zip, then uh, it will disable all those system components which uh, force encryption. So uh, as I already mentioned uh, in the beginning of this video, with Android KitKat and your uh, with uh, sorry with Android Marshmallow and newer Android versions, Google has made uh, device encryption mandatory uh, for uh, those. Uh, uh, manufacturers who are shipping Android devices but uh, for us custom users it's not mandatory to have uh, encryption enabled and uh, that's why we can uh, install this zip and uh, disable force encryption entirely and get rid of this uh, uh, error again uh, in the future because if your storage isn't encrypted then uh, you wouldn't uh, run into this error anytime uh, so just make sure that you flash the zip before rebooting into the system and uh, another thing that uh, you have to note here is that uh, uh, every time you change your ROM, you will uh, have to flash the zip because uh, when you wipe uh, the, uh, when you have to install a new ROM, you will end up wiping uh, system, vendor, data. So uh, the boot image and uh, all the uh, relevant partitions which this flashable zip makes changes to, uh, those will uh, those will be erased. And then uh, the new ROM that you will install, it will uh, get rid of uh, all the changes that the flashable zip made. So uh, if uh, you don't install that zip and then you reboot that uh, device with uh, the new ROM, then uh, you will uh, your device will uh, go through that force encryption and it will encrypt the entire system. So if you don't want that to happen, 
every time you flash a new ROM, you will have to flash that zip uh, and uh, uh, that will ensure that uh, your device isn't encrypted. So uh, just make sure that and you wouldn't run into any issues. In fact, that's how uh, most TWRP errors occur in the first place. It's because of uh, issues with device encryption. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. You know the drill. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. And that's like most of you out there. So please make sure that you subscribe to the channel, okay? And uh, then like this video if you find it helpful. And uh, in case this video wasn't helpful, then uh, you can click on that dislike button twice. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day. Take care. And uh, I'll see you guys.